I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe that God has made me my body and soul. Did you notice how Dr. Luther did not divide them? Body and soul, one unit that God made together to receive his gifts of love and mercy. Most of the funerals that I go to do not understand this concept correctly. It's always a sad thing when one that we love goes home to be with Jesus. Sad for us. Most of the time when I hear a sermon preached, they preach that the one that was suffering is now in heaven with Jesus, and that is a great thing. But they forget about the body. The soul goes to be with Jesus and rests with him, and the body rests in the ground, and they seem to think that's the end. But it's not, because God never made the body and the soul to be separated. They are, for a time, separated by sin and death, the body rests in the ground while the soul rests with Jesus. But one day, one day soon, just as certainly as Jesus promised, he will stand upon the earth again. And because he has died and risen again, he promises that for you. That yes, your body will breathe its last and it will rest in the ground. And your soul will go and rest with Jesus. But when he steps upon the earth, he will again make all things new new heaven and new earth, and join your body and your soul together, sinless. And there will be no more sin or sorrow or sadness or death, nothing to separate you from Jesus, nothing to separate body and soul again, because Jesus has won the victory for you. You see, our Lord provides for the body. He gives us doctors and nurses. He gives us coaches and parents. He gives us police and authorities to watch over and protect us. And he gives us something to save the soul. He gives his son. Jesus comes into our world, takes on a human body just like ours, yet without sin. Lives his life perfectly, goes to the cross willingly, sacrifices himself and takes your sin and dies for it and gives you his holiness. And with that is a promise that your body and soul have been redeemed and you will rise again on the last day as certainly as Jesus rose because when you were created, God created soul and body together, recreated them in the waters of baptism and will create them again together at the last when he steps upon the earth. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.